hello guys so welcome to another video unfortunately i was not able to shoot a video both yesterday and day before yesterday um, something uh, didn't go well on saturday basically so i had to take the little mechanic to the hospital and the entire day we actually spent at the hospital and then by the time we reached home it was already 8 8 30 um, nothing serious basically it was a routine checkup and finally when we came home it was 8 39 and i was very tired to shoot a video or do any work on the bike so i didn't do anything but that day i got the tank the work on the tank was really good um, so this guy did an amazing job and finally uh, after getting the tank on Sunday, I actually did the entire body work like, you know, applying putty wherever it was required. And then today, just now, uh, about 30 minutes ago, I painted the tank. This is base black. We haven't applied clear on it because we have to put the stripes on. So once the stripes are put, then we will put the clear on it. So unfortunately, the original stickers are no longer available and the ones that you get are not that great so i thought it would be better to put those two stripes and then you know apply clear on that so tomorrow that is what we are going to do with this uh, today it's too late so tomorrow by evening i'll get the stripes put on this and then we will um, apply clear on the tank so that is about the uh, tiger now about the charisma we actually got the tank uh, back from the painting uh, I mean the denting guys so they did a good job here as well uh, actually after I painted it fell down and this entire thing went down so I gave it again to them so that they can fix it so they lifted it well but there are small dings here and there so I had to apply some putty on it and after applying I had sanded one side but still um, sometimes you need to put multiple layers of putty and that is what has happened to this also so next thing that we have to do is sand this completely and then apply primer on it and after the primer is applied uh, maybe whenever I get time tomorrow day after tomorrow sometime I'll apply the base and clear on this so that's the plan with this but anyways this is not important so about the tiger we didn't uh, do anything much on the bike as such uh, unfortunately I couldn't get the head gasket that was the plan uh, on Saturday to get the head gasket and fix the cylinder and head completely and then you know start the bike but unfortunately we couldn't do it so now what we are going to do is we are going to put the side covers both sides and then we are going to get the head gasket tomorrow or day after right now i don't have any shops near my house um, worst case scenario we might have to wait it out till the weekend so that is the update on this but today what we will do is we'll um, install both side covers and we'll install the carburetor and everything and then just put the head temporarily on it and then we will install it properly once we get the gasket um, i don't know whether i have some old gaskets with me I have to check but most likely I don't and another thing um, there are some YouTube videos wherein people have gone ahead and reheated the head gasket and placed it if it was that simple nobody will buy it so <laughs> don't do such things buy a new head gasket it's not very expensive and you know it's always better to replace it because compression leak is not something that you would want especially on bikes like this which actually are not ridden in slow speed they are like bikes which you enjoy riding so these kind of compression leaks are not something that people will have like to have on their bikes so best thing is get the right tools and things and gaskets always replace it no shortcuts okay having said that now we have to park the bike somewhere over there and we'll install the covers okay
okay so finally the engine is completely fixed only thing is the head doesn't have a head gasket so I haven't talked that another huge thing I forgot is cleaning the chain um, I don't know how I missed that but that happened so now I have to clean the chain with it on the bike so that's not a huge problem anyways the front sprocket and everything is clean so we'll use a brush and clean the rest of the chain without taking it apart so that's a plan other than that the cycle parts are almost there so there is nothing to be done on the cycle parts the engine um, this side cover i have fixed and then on top of that i have also filled it with engine oil so today i'm going to let it sit so that we can see if there is a leak if there is no leak perfect then we'll hopefully start it in the next one or two days if there is a leak then we'll have to figure out where the leak is coming from and solve that so other than that the bike is on track there is nothing major to worry about things are going as planned um, so tomorrow i'm going to get the tank uh, to a sticker guy put those two stripes and then probably in the evening uh, once we our office gets over we'll either paint it in the evening depending on how the climate is or we will paint it um, tomorrow morning um, I mean day after tomorrow morning during the day sometime when I get a bit of time I'll come and just do the clear coat so that is the plan so most likely this week this bike should go and the kind of work that we have done we have done it in such a way that um, my ex boss's mind changes and he doesn't sell this for an electric but then you know technology once it has come it is going to take all these obsolete vehicles out so that is going to happen anyways so let's see how if his mind changes good great awesome so the plan is to make sure that his mind changes otherwise you know there is no fun in doing all this because you know restoring another rx doesn't have that charm when i have already done close to 16 17 bikes but the challenge in this one was to make sure that he likes the bike and decides to keep it so that is what it is gonna be quick update on the charisma tank as you can see the uh, body work is complete on this all we have to do now is um, sand the whole thing with 600 almost everything is sanded anyways we'll have to sand here and all so that this old um, scuff marks are gone and then we'll apply primer on this and once it is fully in primer then we will get it painted on one of these days this has to go because uh, four stroke standing doing nothing is not a great idea so it will have issues and probably it will soon start giving other set of problems so parallelly uh, we are not planning to get any more single cylinder four strokes it has to be either a twin or a triple or a four cylinder so let's hope that happens and hopefully all the things go per plan there are certain things that are planned so all those things will come one by one but this one has to go and that is the quick update on that one so tomorrow like i said we'll get the tank stickered and then we'll send it for stickering once it comes back we'll apply clear on that and that is gonna be it and we'll let it dry for a day or two and then we'll put the tank and complete this bike so that is the plan i hope we are able to stick to it um, and thanks for watching and i hope you like this video if you did like share and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one